So here's like our fourth video on solving linear systems, and it's kind of sad that this should be the third one because maybe it should have been the first one because here's, here are the possibilities we have here. We're talking today about solving linear systems that have no solutions, so it's kind of weird solving something with no solutions, but here are the possibilities, right? Let's say that we're going to take two lines. The one possibility is that our two lines do this, that our two lines are parallel to each other, right? They have the same slope, but they have different y-intercepts. They, they never meet, right? They never meet anywhere. So there's no solution here, is there? So how many solutions? Equals no solutions. And that's what we're going to talk about in a second. But I want to at least make sure we've looked at this for a second. The other possibility is that we have two lines, and maybe they look like this. And I'm not saying any, where, what quadrant they're in. But the other possibility is that they meet exactly one time right equals one solution and that covers two-thirds of the possibilities one possibility no solutions parallel lines other possibility is that we have two lines that we have two lines that meet exactly one place they have one solution the other possibility is this and <clears throat> Sir Isaac Newton said that no two things can be in the same place at the same time, but he was talking about in three dimensions. So we're only in two dimensions. So it's possible now that we have this line right here, this yellow line right here. And then if you'll allow me to have this orange line right here so we can see them both. And if I laid it right on top of the yellow line, just wrote it in a different form, then it's possible that we have one line on top of another line. So those lines meet in all places. So it's all solutions, right? And that is, these lines are called coinciding, coin, 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 siding with the C, C I D I N G, coinciding lines. And we've talked about the, this possibility, is the one that we seem to be most interested in, but we haven't talked about this possibility or this one. So in this video, if you don't mind, let's talk about this possibility. And here's an example of that possibility. Let's take this equation right here. Let's take uh, x minus 2y is equal to 3. And our, let our second equation be um, 2x minus 4y equals 7. Okay? So let's, let's try this. Actually, let's, if you don't mind, let's solve the first equation in terms of x. So we'll just add 2y to both sides, and we'll get this. We, isn't it true we could rewrite this first equation that x is equal to 2y plus 3? Stop the video if you need to to figure out what I'm doing here. But all I did was add positive 2y to both sides, didn't I? So this positive 3 is this one, and this positive 2y is because I added positive 2y to both sides, right? So now I'm looking at this second equation like this, and I'm looking at this x value because I know now that x in the first equation, right? This is equation 1, and this is equation 2 down here. So if I take equation 2 and I rewrite it 2, right, x minus 4y is equal to 7, and I substitute in the second equation, I substitute in this equation, it says here that x is 2y plus 3, so this is 2x, so it is 2y plus 3. Now I have both equations in one equation. I'm going to distribute here. Remember, distribute completely. Take your time to get 4y plus 6, check me out here, minus 4y equals 7. And if we, when we simplify here, and that's what we need to do, we're going to be patient here. We're going to simplify, not rushing to our answer. When we simplify, we realize we have positive 4y's here, but negative 4y's here, is, and 4y minus 4y is 0y's, and we have 6 is equal to 7. This is really, really helpful because let me ask you this question. When do these two lines meet up here? When we have no solutions, when do the two lines meet? They never meet. These two lines are never equal. So here's our little sign. When is 6, when is six equal to 7? Well, 6 is never equal to 7, and therefore our lines never meet. So here's the clue. When you go through the process and you solve and you get a number is equal to another number, and it's not true. 0 equals 9, 15 equals 32, etc. You say, when does this number equal this number? And the answer is, the answer to that question, if the answer is never, then you have lines that never meet. So in this case, our answer is 
no solution. So our solution here, believe it or not, is our solution is to write the words no solution or no solutions. That is our answer here. Right? Usually our answer is some point x, y. In this case, our answer is no answer. Nicely done. Hopefully you'll watch this video again, taking your time, taking your time, stopping on your way through it to do the algebra. I hope this was helpful, you guys.